All right, fire's going. So, you read correctly. I completely forgot it was St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Here I am in the grocery store, and I see a uh, fellow co-worker. And I ask her what she's doing for dinner, and she's saying, we're having leftovers. We're corned beef and cabbage, you know, St. Patrick's Day. I'm like, oh, crap. Well, I'm actually Irish, so I really don't put much thought into St. Patty's Day. <laughs> That's for all the uh, non-Irish people to pretend they're Irish. Love it. So, I just grabbed a couple quick things from the store. I didn't grab potatoes because I had them at home. And I could have grabbed a bag of red potatoes. But I got a giant 10-pound bag out in the garage that needs to be used. I found this uh, Colorado Proud corned beef brisket. It's the only thing that looks different than the store-brought ones. I just picked up some packages of Thor brand sauerkraut. Got some of these sweet peppers, onion, beer, and uh, is this for cooking with? Or is that for me? Hmm. One or the other. St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> and on a further note, yeah, look at the nice color the inside of this uh, pit boss is taken. So it's been getting used, that's for sure. I vacuum this thing out all the time, so all you got left there is just goodness. All right, I want to get a good hot fire going, and I'll show you why here in a minute. All right, got a good fire going. Get our heat deflector, and the reason I want a good hot fire is because I need to heat up this cast iron pan. I'm just going to do the whole meal in this cast iron. I want to uh, add some oil on the bottom, I'm going to get good and hot, and I'm going to brown the uh, brisket in that. Bam, bam, and then we'll throw everything else in. Kaboom. A big piece of onion. Be good in there. Alright, we're about 450 degrees. Got this top vent wide open. We got this lower vent all the way open. But now I'm at that temperature. I'm going to close that and we'll see what happens. Uh, the cast iron's only been on there for about no, a little less than 10 minutes now. So we're going to let that continue to heat up. But we're going to try to start regulating the temperature just a little bit. Potatoes, I'm just going to leave the skin on. And I'm just going to like quarter cut them. And it's down the middle there. Flip it over. Once down the middle there. Just cut some nice pieces off. Starchy. That's about it. Yep, and just closing that vent alone caused our temperature to drop uh, to about 390. Hopefully our cast iron's getting hot, let's find out. By dropping this on there. And while that burns, I'm going to throw in a small piece of walnut and close the lid up. That ought to give us a little bit of smoke. Just for flavor. A piece of walnut smoking good. I'm going to lightly brown this, not too special, not too much. Let that go for another couple minutes. I'll be right back. Right now, brown and 
Pull it open the side real quick. I'm gonna start cleaning this real quick. Just throw some garlic in there, you can see that. So from what I've noticed, I've been able to stay right around 380, 390. Temperatures are just coming up because I had the uh, lid open to do some stirring. This top vent is wide open. Uh, this bottom op is open, um, wide open as far as the screen goes. So that's open all the way. And um, I still need it just a little bit hotter. So I'm going to crack that and we'll see what happens. All right, time for the fun. I'm not going to use a whole lot of my good bourbon, but we're going to use a little splash. Deflate the bottom of that pan a little bit. Mm -hmm. like it smells. Mm -hmm. Smells good. Next, we're going to start adding some kraut. We're going to throw our brisket back on there. And then we're going to pour the rest of this kraut on there. Spread that around. As such. And now we're going to add our beer. Just over our brisket, I think. And uh, this is a porter, a yingling. Pretty good. Ah, last little bit for the pit master. All right. I'm going to let this come up to a simmer, a good simmer. And then I'm going to put the lid on, and we're going to let that slow cook for, oh, I don't know, a couple of hours probably. Back in a bit. And I almost forgot why well, I had the lid off. I wanted to throw this little piece of cherry wood in there. And hopefully we'll get a little cherry smoke flavor going in here as well. We're playing around and what I did was I flipped this all the way open again. And let's see what that did to our temperature. And I brought it up to about four, just under 450. Yep, there you go. Sure, outside temperatures, it's not exactly warm out here right now. It's a little chillier. It has an effect on everything that you do here, the wind. But uh, wide open. Mm, yep, it's still rising. But we actually want to start bringing this down, so I'm going to close this. And we'll check back. Now, because a lot of this whole, you know, shooting videos is learning how to use this, and if I learn along the way, Maybe you will too. Who knows? We'll see. All right. So we get a good simmer here. Time to put the lid on. Close her up and let her cook. So, as you can see, the sun is setting on our day. Yeah, we're having about 300 degrees. I still have the top wide open. Let's see. 
like I got four of those exposed. We're into it just a little over an hour now. And we're low and slow on, but it's still like not to get under 200. I'm gonna open that up just a little bit. See what happens. Mm, looks like it's steaming good. Oh yeah, looking good. Probably got at least another hour to go. Close her up and let her keep going. Alright, as you can see, our temperature just kind of continues to drop. I think our charcoal spent, uh, there wasn't any big pieces of charcoal in there. Half of it was uh, recycled and half of it was fresh. So, uh... And we ran hot for well over an hour, over 400 degrees for the first hour or so. And it's just not going to heat back up. It's just going to continue to cool down. So I'm going to take one final quick peek here. I actually want to probe this with a meat thermometer. Oh. Uh, those potatoes are done. Mm, it's pretty good for uh, brisket. So it's about done. Which is good because so is uh should be pretty good. I'm just going to close the lid and then uh, leave it in here. Kind of in a rest mode. I've let all the heat out here pretty much. So I'm gonna throw the lid back on. There we go. Close it back up. I'm just going to shut all the vents actually. It'll hold temperature for a while. And that stuff will continue to simmer just a little bit. And we'll be done. All right, so we are done. This has been simmering out there, oh, a good three hours maybe. Yeah, it's breaking up with the fork, so it's done. Set it on the cutting board. Set the camera up. That was the fat side. I'm trying to figure out which way the grain's going. Looks like it's going that way. Here's the grain. Oh, it looks good. Real tender. Wow. Might even be a hair overdone. Mm. Real tasty though. You can see it just breaks up at this point. Did I just say that? So, happy uh, St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> yeah, everybody. Take care and we'll see you next time.